Yo, man, what's good with y'all boys, man? As y'all can see, I'm coming to y'all with a whole different type of video. So right now, I'm in a hotel right now. So right now, I'm just training. Like, I just started trucking, right? And I'm doing, like, these little 30 days of training. 20 more days, bro, of training. So, so y'all ready to tell y'all, you know, y'all trying to see how to get this. That's how they call, man. So you can get any Hellcat, any Scat, any, bro, anything you want, bro. I'm finna give y'all the damn tips and tricks. As y'all can see, as y'all see, I wrote everything down. I'm finna let y'all know. There's some shit, man, that ain't too many people gonna give out game. I'm just letting y'all know right now, bro. A lot of niggas be doing this, and they don't even be like, you know, they don't be getting a lot of people game. They don't be letting people know what it is for real, but I'm gonna let y'all know what it is, man, for real. So, we're gonna get to the first thing. First thing is, bro, make that LLC right now. Make that LLC. Cuz, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna explain all that later. Just make the LLC, go to um, wherever you at. Type in LLC and type in your little state and it should pop up. Make sure it say Gov at the end. So it should be like uh, E Corp, Gov, Gov or something like that. But don't go to no other website. Do it yourself. Don't even go to no third party website and pay them like a certain amount of money. Just do it yourself, bro. You can save a lot of money. So boom, make the LLC. Then after that, right? So you're gonna get like a little paper in the mail saying, oh, you certified for the LLC. And I ain't gonna lie, for the LLC, you probably gonna have to pay like it depends on the state. I paid like a hundred for it. I paid a hundred for it. So paid a hundred for the LLC. So boom, now you wanna go uh, get that uh, EIN number. If y'all don't know how to get an EIN number, go on some of your YouTube page, channel or something. They'll show you how to get it. I ain't finna go down in detail on how to get an EIN number. But I mean, it's easy, it's simple. You can even go type in on Google how to get your EIN, that's what I did. So boom, you gonna get your EIN number from that, right? So then, when you get that EIN number, that's like your social security number for your business. So that's your social security number for your LLC. So just, hey, if, if y'all already know where I'm going, you know where I'm going. So hold on, I'm finna let y'all, I'm finna give y'all some game, you know? So then after that, right? You wanna go to like, you know, any type of credit union, right? So Navy Federal, uh, it, it's some more. I, I can't even remember like off the top of my head right now, but it's a lot of credit unions. Just type in credit union on Google or something like that, right? And then a lot of them should pop up. So once you see like, just go like Navy Fed or something like that, right? Okay. So as soon as you get the Navy Fed, you're gonna be like, oh, I wanna, uh, I'm trying to make a business account. But don't don't be coming in saying that. Look, look professional and shit, man. But put on some clothes, put, you know, don't say like, oh, I'm, I'm just coming in here and make a business account. They gonna look at you like, man, go and get, go ahead and get up out of here. But hey, look professional, go in there and make a business account, right? So then after that, once you make that business account, or oh, you're gonna have to have that EIN number to make that business account. Cause I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know that too. So you wanna have that EIN to make that business account. So, so the reason I say you wanna have an EIN number, right? So you don't wanna have the car. Say like you got the car, right? And something happened. You you like lose your job or something like you don't have no money or nothing like that at the moment and you can't pay your car payment the payment and all that it won't go towards your regular credit your like my credit it won't go towards my credit it gonna go towards my business credit right and it's gonna hurt my business credit but i don't really care about that as long as my credit don't get hurt you see what i'm saying so that's why you want to have that ein that's why you want to make that llc and have that business account so as soon as you make that business account right i know i'm going fast if y'all got questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll answer. Bro, this light making my teeth yellow, bro. I can't do it. My teeth ain't yellow, bro. My shit white. Hello. Shit crazy. Yeah, nigga, my shit white. But nah. I'm going to fit this. All right, so boom. I forgot where I left off at. But yeah, if y'all got questions or anything like that, just let me know, bro. I, I, you know, I read the comment section. So after that, right? You won't put like a small little deposit. They're gonna ask you to put like probably five, ten dollars into the account, something like that. So you boom, you're gonna do that, right? So then after that, you're gonna look for your car, right? You're gonna look, you're gonna look at dealerships. I see me, I recommend you get like a kind of a newer car. So you can have like some warranty on it or something like that. It don't gotta be too new. It only no, it only had to be brand new. Don't even get no brand new car shit. Ah, me. I get my cars used, but it'll still have some warranties on there. So my car right now, it probably got like three years left of warranty on there and it's used. And my car only had like 20, 20 something miles, 20,000 miles, something like that. So 
boom i have to do that right you going where i'm at right now all right you're gonna find a dealership you can probably you can go to carmax or any type of dealership you know find that car and don't be like don't rush and try to if you find one car that's like five thousand don't rush and try to you know go ahead and get that but keep looking like you want to at least like research research a car for like two uh, like a week and a half to two weeks because like prices can change like week by week day by day for real so after you do that right i know i'm talking about you know, scat pets and all that i got bmw uh shirt on but yeah man, if y'all didn't know i used to work at bmw though for real but that beside the point um after that right once you find a car you want you picked on it you like man i need this car right here like i want it so once you find that right don't go for that price they have on that website bro do not i don't care if it's a brand new car don't go for that bro you always want to negotiate even if like even if they like man we can't do that that's way too high of a discount walk out the building bro just straight walk out and be like have a nice day and walk straight out I guarantee they gonna call your ass on the phone. It's like, oh, hey, can we do this and this and this? And they gonna lower that price, bro. Them salesmen, they want that money, bro. They gonna lower that price. I'm, I'm letting you know. I used to work in a dealership, bro. I, that's how I did my car. That's how I got my car so cheap. I went, I went budgeting on my price. So you can't budge on your price. You gotta stay at one price. If you want that car for one price, stay at that price, bro. They gonna call your ass back. They gonna be like, oh, boom. It might, it might take us, it might take some time though. They called me like probably, I say probably like two days later. But sometimes it take like more, it, it probably take more than that, like a week or two. If the car ain't really selling or something like that, they'll be like, oh, hey, Mr. So and so, hey, are you still interested in the car? That offer that you had, we can, we can, you know, we can make that happen right now. Boom, you got that. You got your, uh, got your deal that you wanted, right? So once you get the deal, I've got to tight it, put this in the notes too. But once you get your deal and all that, make sure you uh, read over all them papers, make sure everything's straight. Make sure you got the uh, the correct warranties too. Make sure you got the tag and all that. You, you already know the basic stuff. They're gonna help you out with that, but some sometimes people like just leave the dealership without having all that stuff like situated, like the tag and all that, and where you get your car registered in. Like see if you had to go all the way to another state, and you're trying to get that car registered in your state, sometimes they'll register in that state. So it can be like a little hassle. So. I mean, the dealership, the financial uh, manager, he should let you know, like, all that and all that. So, boom, after that, right? All right, so when y'all at the dealership, I've got to let y'all know this, too. Y'all at the dealership, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not let them run your credit at all. Like, that's why I said, when you go to that Navy Federal, right, they're going to give you a loan. I should have I should have added this on, like, at the beginning of the video, but my notes all, like, Fuck, it's all messed up. So uh, you gonna want, you gonna want to apply for a business loan, right? So once you apply for that business loan, I think like you know some some uh, some banks like Bank of America stuff like that. They give like you know first time credit owners like cool a good little amount like I don't know like twenty to thirty thousand something like that. But yeah, man, you can go to there. You can go to uh, Georgia's own Georgia A. Hey, I'm putting y'all on game now. Georgia's own, they'll give you like 30, they'll give you like 30 to 35,000, something like that. So, boom. I mean, I don't know about no other states and all that, but y'all just gotta do y'all research and go around every credit union and then be like, you know, uh, try to open up. My camera running out of storage, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, as I was saying though, y'all need to do y'all research and go to every credit union, bro, and just try to see like, which one gonna give you like some, give you a loan for real. So, I mean like, you could probably even go to a regular bank, like Bank of America or something like that. And they probably, you know, they probably give you some. So, yeah, after that, after you get that business loan, you want to take that, uh, they're going to give you like a piece of paper or something like that. And you take it up to the dealership. I forgot what the paper called. Or either, no, no, no. They not going to, okay, so the bank not going to give you a paper. So you just going to go up there to the bank and say, oh, I want to use my own. I got my own loan that I'm going to use. And then the bank, I mean, well, then the dealership going to give you like, you know, a piece of paper, I, I forgot what it's called. It's like the final car price. So you're gonna get that piece of paper and you're gonna fax it to uh, the bank or you're gonna take it up there and then they're gonna prove everything. And then boom, you got the car, bro. And then the bank gonna let you know all the next steps. They're gonna tell you like how to uh, pay, the, pay the loan and all that. But yeah, 
So, hey man, I get, I'm giving y'all a game. The moral of this video, man, you wanna have, you wanna get your credit up. If you don't have a good credit right now, I advise you go get like, you know, a discovered credit card, discovered secured credit card, or you can get like a Capital One credit card, something like that. So, I mean, just go get your security card, put like $200 on there, and then, um, you know, keep trying to build it up every every month. Build it up every month, then they're gonna give you, some, they're gonna give you like a, a limit that you can use, and then, bro, your credit gonna be down, going up like that, bro. So, just, just keep trying to build the credit, and then you'll be straight. But, after all that, I mean, really, before all that, y'all gonna have to find out how y'all gonna get that insurance, and the insurance for that next video. So if y'all want that, nigga, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I got y'all. I should be done with training in a little bit. I'm gonna bring y'all some more scat POV videos. All right, man, so y'all boys, like, share, comment, subscribe. Man, I'm gonna see y'all boys in the next one. Let's get it.